Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the Josh Nelson Encounter Hour. This is episode number 34, if you can believe it. <laughs> I certainly can't. <laughs> uh, episode 34. I started this uh, right as the lockdown started, basically. Maybe a couple weeks in. And uh, we're going strong here. Live from... Uh, Los Angeles, California, just steps from Hollywood, California, and uh, happy you're here joining me. I'll be playing some music for the next hour for you, and right now we're playing some other music. Uh, this is Adventures in Rhythm. I just acquired this. One of my favorite arrangers from the West Coast scene in the 50s and 60s, Pete Rugolo, and uh, Adventures in Rhythm on Columbia Records, just a slamming band. We have Bud Shank on alto, Claude Williamson on piano, Pete Candoli on trumpet. Uh, a lot of great players. Shelly Mann on drums. Yes. Vinyl rules. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Hope you're all safe, happy, and healthy and getting through your day. <laughs> Cheers. Whether you're on the wagon or off the wagon, I'm glad you're here and uh, get into some music in a little bit. Hey! <laughs> Just a shout out to the regulars who have been watching now uh, every, well now it's every two weeks, but it was every week for a while. I want to thank everyone for coming back and supporting me during the COVID continued lockdown. Um, and uh, of course, uh, right off the bat, we have to mention as usual, the incredible men and women that are fighting for people's lives in the medical field, um, uh, who are fighting those who've been afflicted with COVID. So uh, thank you for all your service. And uh, you know, in LA, our numbers are finally starting to come down, of course, nationally we're starting to see a downward trend so that's very encouraging but we can't let our guard up guard up guard down just yet uh as we're still trying to get a handle on this thing so thanks for being here uh this is a is a special one tonight uh uh we lost a, a major a major artist in the jazz field and really just in the music community in general um the great chick korea uh, sadly has passed on. If you're not familiar with Chick, he, he, Chick was a, a pianist, but not just a, a pianist. He was a, a pioneering pianist and a wonderful keyboardist and um, visionary. Amazing composer, amazing producer. Uh, you name it, he could do it. And he had a, a very long career and it lasted just until last Tuesday when he passed away at 79 years old and the, the jazz world is of course reeling. Many people just adored him. Uh, not only a amazing musician, but a really sincere and warm human being. And of course that always makes it harder to lose someone of that uh, talent. Uh, but Chick was, um, from what I when I saw him play and I met him once, uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later uh always giving of his talent you know he he didn't hold on to his gift he he shared it with people and um just like to share some of his music with you tonight so um yeah before we do that let's uh say hello on the laptop cam thanks for being here everybody hey phil glosterman how are you paula hey guys thanks for being here joyce always good to have you here hi aunt virginia Mwah. Hey Corey, you're you're one of the top fans, man. <laughs> Hope you're well. Thanks for being here. Hey Megan, oh yay! Killing Barry Sachs on that track. Ah, oh, I know, right? That Pete Rugolo. I forgot who's the Barry player on that. I have to look. Miss you too. Thanks for being here. Hey Bobby, you need a signed Josh Will Josh Williams CD? Oh, <laughs> maybe Josh Nelson is what you meant. <laughs> Hey, I'd be happy to hook you up with that. Michael Wilson, man, it's been a while. How you doing? Hey, Fred, another 
Another regular, man. Always great to have you, Fred. You drinking, Bobby? Okay. You know, it's my one drink during the show. Can't get too schnockered. <laughs> hey, the Subies from New Zealand. Hey, guys. Oh, so great to have you here. I thank you. I'm so glad that you continue to watch, and I love seeing your, your journeys in New, beautiful New Zealand. Just incredible. Hey, Judy. Judy, how you doing? Judy Wexler, the great vocalist and fun lady. Hi, guys. Mary, how are you? Thanks for being here. Hey, Mom. Yay. Hey, Kim. Oh, good to have you here, Kim. Miss you guys. Say hi to Steve. Okay. That's enough. Enough highs. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. So let's get into uh, a, little, a little chick music. This first tune is a lesser known chick Korea composition. Uh, I don't think he ever recorded it outside of this one band. I've been looking for other versions. But it's from a 1994 album called Tevu, T-E-V-O-U. And it was uh, put out by the great drummer Roy Haynes. Uh, who is still with us, amazingly, in his 90s. And uh, great band, Donald Harrison on alto saxophone, Pat Metheny on guitar, Chris McBride on bass, Dave Kokoski on piano, really fantastic pianist. And this is a tune of chicks called Like This, Like This.
that's a woo. That song is hard. <laughs> I learned how to play that tune with um, um, my very dear friend, drummer Lorca Hart. Some of you from the Los Angeles and San Francisco Bay areas would know him. Probably one of my favorite people on the planet uh, and just a wonderful soul. And uh, we both enjoy that record, that Roy Haynes record very much. And um, just love that tune. And uh, yeah, no one plays it. It's so cool. Hey, Rumi, I see you're here. And you like that song too, huh? <laughs> uh, I know. Rumi, my friend and student, a great pianist from Japan. We had a fun lesson yesterday and we were working on um, another Chick Korea tune called Bud Powell uh, that he released on a record of music in tribute to Bud Powell in the 90s. Really good, remembering Bud Powell. So we're going to talk a lot of Chick Korea tonight. Thanks for tuning in, Rumi. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> for you, maybe Ohio gozaimasu. And uh, Susan, thanks for being here from Chicago, snow-filled Chicago. We're having weird LA weather, super windy in the 70s. It's, you know, too early for 70s in LA. They'll all take it. Uh, and a little shout out to our friends in uh, Texas who are struggling with this horrible snow uh, weather event and the power and the water situation. If anyone's in Texas, <laughs> stay warm, you know, have a, have a drink. <laughs> hope, you, uh, hope you're okay out there. Uh, we have some friends in the greater Dallas area and they're, they're hanging in there, but man, this is some scary stuff. So hopefully everything gets back to normal soon there. Hey, Marina, thanks for being here. Schwitz, Marina, wonderful vocalist and pianist and sweetheart. Good to see you. So that was our first little number from uh, Lesser Known Chick Korea Library, like this. And um, yeah, let's go to his, his very first record as a leader, uh, 1967. Uh, I believe is the year. Let me check my facts. Um, yeah. Tones for Jones Bones, uh, a song a lot of pianists and musicians love to play, uh, and uh, one of my favorites too. So Chick Corea, 1967, from the record Tones for Jones Bones, the title track, and this features Steve Swallow on bass and Joe Chambers on drums. They couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll play it solo for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.
If you're just joining me, this is episode number 34 of the Josh Nelson Encounter. Uh, we play some music on this show, we talk about vinyl, we have a drink, maybe some books and film. <laughs> and if anyone has anything they want to share, please leave it in the comments. I try to check in, you know, once in a while. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate everyone, you know, being here and listening and commenting. So if I don't mention you, I'm sorry. But... Uh, we're exploring the music of Chick Corea. We lost the, the wonderful master Chick just last week, about eight days ago. Uh, he was almost 80. Um, and I just have to tell you how much I appreciate his music. Um, someone who is seemingly complex and very accessible at the same time. And that's how I feel about his music when I play it. Um, his compositions are a true window, pun intended, because he has a song called Windows a window to his soul, to his genius. Sometimes after I finish playing the melody, I don't want to solo because the, the melody is so beautiful. It's not often that I feel like that on compositions, especially more modern compositions. Chick had a way of bridging bebop, some blues, and modern, more esoteric and abstract music, unlike any other artist in the 20th century. Um, some of his peers, of course, we... Uh, we, we have to mention Herbie Hancock, who is still with us, and uh, there's a lot in common they have. They were both interested in, of course, straight-ahead jazz in the 60s, and then as they got into the 70s and 80s, they become, became interested in electronic music, uh, and that um, further propelled their careers into interesting places and could really access any of their tools at any time. Consummate, self-realized artists, in my opinion. I would definitely put McCoy Tyner in there as well. Uh, as far as other pianists that had a true impact on the music. Long-term Dave Brubeck, you have to acknowledge um, his contribution to music. But Chick had a very, very specific style. And you can hear it in his, um, his attack and his time. Uh, if you want to check out a really cool track, um, I recommend some of his music he played with Gary Burton, the vibraphonist. They did many duo records, but there's one in particular. Of course, Crystal Silence is the famous one, which is fantastic, but they did a record in the 90s, 97 or so, called Native Sense. And the, the title track features Chick in just the most pristine form of his career because he's playing this, this ostinati that kind of keeps moving he never falters um you know his touch his his time impeccable uh he had a very he would do these kind of grace note type inflections in his playing and very unique you know um and uh i can't think of anyone who who made the piano sing quite like him uh, so yeah, tonight is dedicated to the memory of Chick Corea, so thanks for joining me. Um, let's get into uh, some stuff he did on the, well, <laughs> a lot of hard music that Chick wrote, so I'm here to play some of the uh, songs I can play, <laughs> and uh, some I've learned for tonight, but also just some of them are really quite challenging, so and obviously work sometimes better with a rhythm section. So let's get into uh, a song from his wonderful uh, record from, uh, um, oh, what year was that? 68. And second, his second album as a leader, Now He Sings, Now He Sobs. This is a famous tune that a lot of uh, jazz musicians love playing. It's called Windows. Windows. Kind of maybe one of his more famous ones up there was Spain, right? Spain. Um, maybe we'll play that later, but Windows. Oh, liquid Courage here. Okay. Thank you. 
That is a 1968 composition by the great Chick Corea, who we recently lost uh, in the music community. Uh, Windows, the name of that is Windows. And um, oh, Peter, I just looked down and saw you're here. Hey, Peter. Oh, man. Sending much love to you, brother. Mm, I wish I could give you a hug right now. Peter's a dear friend and just lost someone very, very important. And um, thinking about you a lot, man. So, oh, hey, Simon. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, my ex-student Simon spared love. Man, it's been a minute. Yeah, now he sings, now he sobs is something else, isn't it? That that record. If you're not hip to some of these Chick Corea records, just go to Wikipedia and look at his discography and just start listening. <laughs> There's so much there, you know, since the 60s. So, hey, Lillian. Yay, Karen Cruz. How are you? Phil, you say, I saw Chick and Gary Burton together at UCLA several years ago. Yeah. I never got to see them alive. I'm really glad you caught that. Um, I used to see Chick's band a lot at the old Catalina's Bar and Grill uh, in, in Coenga. On Coenga in Hollywood, just up the street from where the old Shelley's Manhole used to be. And I met him there a few times. Um, there was an amazing concert he did with Jeff Ballard and Avishai Cohen, drums and bass. Past, Present, and Futures was the trio from 2001, I want to say. Something else. Um, just listen to that first track and you will be just blown away by virtuosic playing from everyone in that band. You know, Past, Present, and Futures was a really ridiculous trio record. And a good friend of, of mine uh, who I got to play with at the Mint in LA for many years, who's on one of my records, Charles Altura, wonderful guitarist. He got to tour with Chick uh, with the Vigil uh, project. Um, very cool. Uh, and Charles is a burning guitarist, if you haven't heard of him. Um, hey, Alex Budman, what's up, man? Oh, thanks. Incredible. Oh, thanks, man. I'm just trying to trying to make sense of Chick's beautiful music. Uh, good to see you here, man. Yeah, I agree, Judy. Chick was ageless. Yeah. And you saw Chick's trilogy in late 2019. Yeah. Yeah, I met him at the Detroit Jazz Festival. I was playing um, in 2018. That's what our final meeting um I was playing with Eddie Daniels, the clarinetist, incredible clarinetist, and Chick's Electric Band was there, and they were all listening to us at the back of the room, and I could see Chick. <laughs> it freaked me out. Um, but he was so cool, and it was a really good concert. And unfortunately, because of the weather, Chick's band couldn't play. Uh, so I never, never got to hear the Electric Band live, which I'm really ashamed that I didn't, but I have all those recordings, and I'm a fan, as it sounds like many of you are. Hey, Rebecca, what's up? Rebecca Kleinman. Uh, we explored a lot of, you know, music like chicks together. And um, yeah, right. Herbie Hancock and Horace Silver were in the audience. Much love to you, sweetie. Miss playing with you. Oh, 2019 Joyce playing Gershon with the Seattle Symphony. Yeah, it's like, he could just do anything, you know? Ridiculous. Have you heard his piano concerto number no. one from 1999? It's freaking great. What a loss, you know. I'm. All we can do is is honor him with the music, and um, his legacy will live on, you know. Yeah. Anywho, hi. That's the better camera. <laughs> all right. So, what else, friends? Oh well, what else? Hey. Be curious. The new rover, Perseverance, is landing tomorrow. I'm very excited about this. If you know me and my music, you know I'm kind of obsessed with space stuff, and especially Mars and all the crazy stuff that we've been doing. And not only us, but United Arab Emirates and China also successfully uh, placed probes around uh, Mars last week. So there are two missions from other countries in Mars now. And we're about to land our fifth rover. The United States is going to land the Perseverance rover, named by a seventh grader, uh, and a crazy science uh, uh, contraption. <laughs> it's about the size of a small car. It's got six wheels. It's got an amazing array of instruments for, uh, really its primary purpose is to continue to 
you know, look at ancient life on Mars, it's landing in a, uh, a basically a delta riverbed called Jezero Crater. It's going to touch down tomorrow at 12.55 p.m. LA time, 3.55 p.m. East Coast time. Go to nasa.gov, and um, I'll check in with them now, nasa.gov, mars.nasa.gov slash mars2020. Incredible web page where you can get all the information you want on this rover if you're interested, all the equipment on it, what it's doing. It has something called MOXIE, which is going to try and convert um, carbon dioxide into oxygen. Basically, it's paving the way for humans to come later. There's a there's a sampling uh, collector of rocks that will be picked up later by another craft and sent back to Earth some years later, yes. But we have the technology to do this, and it's just incredible. It is now 812,000 miles to Mars. And if you go to that website, you'll see the miles just clicking down. It is 99.7% completed trip. It's going to slow down from you know 47,000 miles an hour to 12,000 miles an hour as it enters the Martian atmosphere. It's going to uh, withstand extreme temperatures with its heat shield as it enters the Martian atmosphere. The heat shield will break apart, and the capsule will lower uh, with the Mars rover on it, and the parachute will deploy to slow it down, the supersonic parachute, just incredible. Um, and then cables lower the rover down after the rocket take <laughs> independent rocket system takes takes over and it's a sky crane and it lowers so if you if you were following along with curiosity it's very similar they had success with that mission so of course it's it includes the seven minutes of terror where there's seven minutes where there's no communication with the rover and um it's really exciting so i'll be watching tomorrow i encourage you to do so uh, and then later tomorrow night, hopefully after we've successfully landed on Mars with a fifth rover, uh, I'm interviewing a wonderful vocalist and songwriter who I've had the pleasure of getting to know over the last five or six years and working with a little bit, playing with. Her name is Gabby Moreno. She's ridiculous. She's a beautiful artist, incredible singer, and she's going to be my guest tomorrow night. Same Facebook page, 6 p.m. and uh, Pacific Daylight Time. And we're going to talk about her latest record, Spangled. It's a record she made with the incredible producer, legendary producer Van Dyke Parks. It's a really cool record. Uh, we'll also be talking about some of her older records um, and geek out on old Disney uh, songs. We're both Disney fans, so she has some uh, classics she wants to share. So, and we'll do. The, I'll do the same. So, come back tomorrow, Thursday, February the 18th, after the rover lands. <laughs> and hang out again and get to know Gabby Moreno and her beautiful music. So, um, yeah, enough of a plug for now. Let's get into a little bit more music. Uh, let's do... Okay, a couple ballads of chicks, back to back here. Um, Crystal Silence is one of the more known Chick Corea ballads uh, from the 70s, uh, 1973 from that same record uh, uh, in a duo, duet setting with Gary Burton. And then I'll go into Children's Song, which is a short piece, beautiful, kind of through composed piece that was featured on the record Light as a Feather. Uh, and that's from, I believe the same year, uh, 73. So thanks for tuning in to the Encounter Hour. Cheers, everybody. Hope everyone's Healthy, happy, and masking up still LA. Be good. Now be good. We gotta get this COVID thing under control. We're, we're doing it, but we gotta stay on it. Cheers. Thanks to all the healthcare workers who are fighting and doing amazing things to help us. Thank you. And thank you all for tuning in. Okay, Crystal Silence and Children's Song.
That was Crystal Silence and Light as a Feather, both from the year 1973. We're exploring the music of Chick Corea tonight. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate you being here. And uh, uh, just in a very reflective mood tonight, still feeling, uh, oh, car alarms. hear that anyway um yeah feeling the loss of chick and um just thinking about uh how much music he left us and uh, what a what a beautiful soul and so many beautiful compositions um if you missed the earlier songs i played like this uh chick all chick tunes uh windows and what else did i play tones for jones bones uh, so yeah, um, Perseverance Rovers lands tomorrow. There's a video that I did with my friend Dan Schnell, the, the great drummer, and bassist Nick Campbell, uh, really fantastic bass player, and Travis Flournoy, my buddy who put the visuals together. You can go to YouTube and type in Josh Nelson Perseverance. You'll find the video of uh, a little tribute to the rover that's about to land tomorrow. Uh, Dan plays great on it and mixed it and helped me with it and uh, I got into some more electronic kind of stuff definitely influenced by Chick uh, so have a look at that video I was going to try and show it tonight on my TV but it just didn't work out so uh, you can view it on your own and uh, again mars.nasa.gov is your place to go for everything happening tomorrow afternoon late morning they start around 11.15 in the morning talking about the rover's descent and landing so very exciting day. Uh, and uh, yeah, so other things going on. Let's see here. <laughs> I don't know what that music is. Uh, drink starting to go to my head. You go to my head. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, um, I'm in a fun film, cl film club, and we just watched um, a really beautiful movie called The Mission, 1986. Uh, Roland uh, Joffe is the director, and it was Robert De Niro and Jeremy Irons. If you're interested in a, a, a historical look at Spanish-Portuguese conquest in South America in the 1700s, interesting film, um, beautifully shot on location in Argentina, in Colombia, and a beautiful score by Ennio Morricone, who we lost last year, the, the wonderful composer. So recommend that. Uh, I might have not talked about this because I skipped a week, but the, the previous film to that was Mishima, uh, a really interesting film about a Japanese writer. It's from the 80s, 1985, I believe. Um, director Paul Schrader, my friends Jeffrey and Bob, recommended this film for the film group. Uh, Yukio or Yunio, I forget his first name, Mishima. A uh, Japanese writer I was not familiar with, um, quite the character, and these are four little short movies. Um, highly recommend it. It's on Amazon Prime, and so is The Mission. Um, you can find that on Amazon. So it's pretty pretty cool to have access to some of these films. You just pay like four bucks to rent it. It's really great. Uh, the week uh, This week, the film is uh, 1986's uh, Francis Ford Coppola's film, Peggy Sue Got Married, <laughs> with Kathleen Turner and Nicolas Cage. So I'm looking forward to watching that. Never seen it. Uh, John Barry did the music. So this is a fun activity I've been doing to keep myself busy with my friends on Zoom uh, during COVID. And we've watched probably almost 40 films now. Pretty cool. Uh, some new vinyl finds. If you missed it in the beginning, I had this found this cool Pete Ruglow. I'm trying to collect as much Pete Ruglow as I can. He's a wonderful arranger. Adventures in Rhythm. Very cool. Got this recently, which I'm excited about. Max Steiner, the great film composer who did music for movies like King Kong and The Treasure of Sierra Madre and The Fountainhead and Three Musketeers of Human Bondage. I'm a big Max Steiner fan. Uh, one of my favorite films that he scored is The Treasure of Sierra Madre with Humphrey Bogart and Walter Houston. You got to see that movie uh, if you haven't. Um, just a great adventure film. Treasure of Sierra Madre. Black and white, but killer score. Great story of gold hunting in the Mexican mountains and just mayhem ensues. It's really good. Really good film. So those are some some new 
vinyl shares for you there. Um, oh yes, Max Steiner did Gone with the Wind. Thanks, Judy. Uh, I did play children's song, Judy. <laughs> Yeah, the Mars countdown, Susan, right? I know if you're looking at the <laughs> the countdown to when it lands, it's pretty cool. I think it's so cool that they can get that information back and process it and share it on the World Wide Web for everyone to see. Um, really, really neat. So, okay. Let's play a little bit more and then call it, shall we? Thanks for being here, everybody. We're going to go back to 1964. Uh, before Chick started making his own albums as a leader, he was a much in demand side person, side man, as we call him in the jazz world. And he uh, recorded a record with the trumpet player Blue Mitchell. Um, and uh, the record's called The Thing You Do? Yeah, The Thing To Do. 1964, Junior Cook on sax. I forget who's on bass. I'm, I'm totally blanking who's on bass. <laughs> I think it's Al Foster on drums. Um, and Chick's Tune is the name of this one. So I'm going to close it out unless I end up playing one more Chick Tune, but I, I'm not, not sure. This, this tune has a crazy lick. This is a very good example for all you people who are interested in the style that Chick wrote in. Um, of course, in the 60s, so many... Uh, artists were trying really interesting things. Herbie Hancock was making fascinating records in the 60s, Miles Davis, John Coltrane. It was a very fruitful time for jazz music and experimentation. Um, but this tune is, is tied to um, a standard. So it's, it's a new melody written over the existing harmonic motion of an old tune called You Stepped Out of a Dream. Uh, and it's, it's got some little chick-isms chick throughout. Uh, and there's this one lick, and you'll hear it, when you hear it, you'll be like, "Oh, wow, that's that's the Chick Korea lick." You know, he's he's got lots of his signature things all over the place. But when it, when I get to this part, whoops, let me play it right. <laughs> that it comes out of nowhere, and there's a break in the drums, and you hear this modern uh, kind of triplet polyrhythmic thing happen amongst kind of a bebop tune for the most part. So uh, wish me luck on Chick's tune. I hope you enjoy it.
that's some version of Chick's tune. <laughs> and that lick, when you play it too fast, it doesn't happen. I practiced that a bunch of today, so I guess a little slower, right? <laughs> That's the pitfall of the song, right? That's he probably was like, "Oh, I'm gonna give a little, a little jab to the pianist." Of course, on the record, it's tenor and tenor sax and trumpet playing that. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. Um, appreciate everyone's attendance and hanging out with me. Um, where are we at here? Oh, Barbara Brighton. Hey, how are you? Nice to have you here. Oh, from Canada. Hey, Mary. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Joyce, again, thank you. Lillian, love you. And let's give it up for the wonderful master, Chick Corea, whose show I've dedicated tonight to his music. And uh, what more can we say? Thanks, Chick. Thanks for the music. Um, let's go out with a little bit more Pete Rubolo. I want to thank everyone for being here. If you want to donate, Josh Nelson Music is the Venmo name. PayPal is paypal.me slash Josh Nelson Music. So both are Josh Nelson Music. And uh, no obligation. I just appreciate you coming and listening to the music and hanging out with me and hopefully uh, being safe out there and staying warm. If you're in a very cold climate, hunker down there in Texas. You guys will get through this. Um, much loved everybody and here's to the Perseverance rover and hopefully successfully landing tomorrow on planet Mars our fifth rover to do so uh, pretty exciting day and make sure you come back tomorrow night same bat time same bat channel we'll be hanging out with wonderful vocalist and composer Gabby Moreno who I am just really thrilled she agreed to talk with me she's very busy and a total superstar in South America and less people know about her here but I, I want to introduce you to her music so I hope you can join me and uh, stay cool everybody and we'll see you in two weeks uh, I'll be back on uh, what's the date March it's the first first Wednesday in March I know that March the third I'll see you then uh, thank you so much have a great night <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thanks, Rumi. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Aviva. <laughs> <laughs>